Hello viewers, I am here today not in a game but on a website. The website is called Roblox.com and it is a site where you, the players, make your own game as well as play other people's games. The admins have recently started playing, uh, playing, paying people to actually make games. But what I would like to talk to you guys about is this game and my history with it and some plans I have with it. First, I was thinking of starting a series of this game if you guys want it. So what I'm going to do today is play around five, six games made by people, kind of showcase it off, showcase off what you can do with this game, and then I'm going to ask you guys, do you want this? If I don't get comments, then I will just base it on views. If it goes over like 10 views, then I'll assume you guys would want more, because as you guys know, I don't get many views, I'm a new YouTuber, so yeah. So, what I would like to talk to you guys about is my history with the game. This is my profile. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to view public. This is my profile. As you can see, my description says, want to play games I had to remove from this account? Read my old profile description. Head over to this group. Quit. Quit. Limiteds and money were given to friends. We'll be on once in a while to talk to friends, play a few good games, and forum. I had over millions in Robux and ticks in hats, gears, faces, packages, limited items. I encourage you all to find your passion, your dreams, and the power to grow wings and fly away from this life-wasting site. Miss me deeply? Xfire, YouTube, Steam, Twitter, P PlayStation, Skype. Thanks to the awesome people I've met and the awesome games I've played. I hope you all enjoy my places while I'm gone, as a lot of work was put into all of them. So, as you can gather from that, I used to play this game and I quit. I used to play this game a lot. You could even say I was addicted. I was pretty well known in the community. I was a high rank in many uh, military groups, military clans, which was my favorite thing to do. I was considered a clan icon at times. And I also dabbled in place creation and I played a lot of good games here and I did a lot on the forums. So I was pretty well known. The administrators and I, we have some trouble I get along with some of them, I don't get along with the others, um, but all that aside, I quit this game because I just didn't want to play it anymore. Well, not really that I didn't want to play it anymore, I just wanted to spend my time doing other things like creating my YouTube channel. And now that I have my YouTube channel, I'm back just to see if you guys like the game enough for me to make it a series. So without further ado. Let's get started. I will jump into a few games. I will play them for like a few minutes each. And then we will see what you guys want. We will see if you guys like this game enough for me to make a series out of it or not. Let's see what you guys say. First game coming up. So, the first game I have for all of you is Apocalypse Rising by a player named Gus Menach. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. This is a game heavily inspired by DayZ, and it is basically the same idea, but it was made by, um, I believe, two people, I believe, made this one, and it was made on the Roblox platform using the Roblox engine, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, what I want to say before I get into this is like I said it's inspired by Daisy so you're gonna see a lot of resemblance some would even call it a copy I don't it depends on what you're asking there's the people who made it right over there uh, designed by Gus Menach, scripted by Zola Kith gun models by Rauschire and comics by PK Thunder PK Thunder thank you for having a readable name <laughs> sorry to you other guys alright so lot can I do last load out Morning. You do not have enough credits to spawn with this. Ah, crap. I don't have enough credits. <sighs> Alright, so I don't really care how my guy looks because, again, I'm just kind of showing you guys off, showing you guys the game, and that. Okay, so what we're going to go. Well, I'll create a character real quick. Skin color. That's good. Hairstyle. That's good. Hair color. That's good. Shirt. We need black. Some kind of black. A 
don't want to stand out like a sore thumb. Yeah, the good shirts cost money. Well, not money, they cost credits. I don't know how you buy credits. Oh. The big button that says buy credits. Yeah, so that costs in game. That costs Robux, which is the in game premium currency that you get for having a membership. Oh, you can buy credits too. Credits are what you get. So I could buy gold, but I don't want it. I don't want to buy gold. Alright, so. Whatever. I'm just going to put on. That's, that's good enough. And pants. That's good enough. Vest. Alright, for vest. I got that one. Yeah, I go. No, I got that one. Best color. Uh, do we have black? Okay, I'll keep it like that then. Headwear. Uh, go ahead, sure. Accessory. Cost money. Spawn packs. Survival. No, how many credits do I have? None. Whatever, guess we're using that because that costs money. Okay. Is any of this stuff free? It is not. Alright. Any, I don't care. Ninja. That's the sneaky class. Okay, so let's just jump right into this. Show you guys what it's like. On the left hand side, on the right hand side there, you can see the player list. Now you can see me. And you can play in third person, just like in Daisy. Or you can zoom in, play in first person, whatever you prefer. I play in a combination of both from time to time, so I don't really... Okay. I haven't played this in such a long time, guys, so bear with me if I forget some of the buttons. No, I'm not joining your group. People invite me to their group. Really? Do I have a macro? I think I do. I'll take that. So as I said, this is pretty much like DayZ. Um, for those of you looking for a plus side, this does not require as much processing power as DayZ. <laughs> so if you don't have a good computer, you can still play this, it, like Unturned. Um, now a lot of people say that this game is like Minecraft, and to an extent I see why. but. Roblox has been around since 2006. May have not been as popular, but Roblox did come first. So, I'm not going to say it's like Minecraft because I know people get really pissed when people say that. Because Roblox came first. Now, as for Unturned, a lot of people say that zombie game is also like Minecraft. And to be quite honest, I believe it's more like Roblox. And it came from Roblox, for those of you who don't know. Uh, Unturned was actually made on Roblox before it was made into a game available on Steam. It was actually made on the site. So the site has done some good for the gaming industry. That's a, oh god, that's a person or a zombie. That's a zombie. Okay, we're good. We're good. Did I get, um... I'm confused. What's this? Oh, view inventory. That's what I was looking for. Alright, can we... No, stop it. Shh. How do I close this? Thank you. Alright, you are not in combat, ninja. How do I see my food and whatnot? Oh, down. I swear I'm blind today. It's right down there at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Get back, little zombie. Nice. Okay, what's in here? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Gimme, give gimme. Give DB shotgun? Oh, they're shells. If it was an actual shotgun, I'd pick it up, but they're just shells. Alright. Probably should be using a flashlight, but oh god. Are you on me? No, you're not. Alright. Alright, let's keep looking. <laughs> if you're wondering what my face is, I'm supposed to have a rose in my mouth. <laughs> That's what that is. This is actually a face I used a long time ago. So yeah, I used to I used to have a lot of stuff in here, but I gave it all away, all my expensive stuff, which sucks now that now if I come back it's gonna suck that I gave it all away, but you know. What are you gonna do? I didn't think I'd play it ever again. 
But I think it, I think it'd make a good YouTube series if you guys are into it. I could play some of this, Apoc Rising, and I could play a bunch of different things. Why do noobs kill on sight? Um, because that's a viable tactic in the apocalypse. Just saying. All American, can you reinvite me? All American, is that a person or is he saying only Americans can invite him? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm very confused. Just like every other game, this community's got some terrible people, and then it's got the really good people. So, nice, now I got a map. It does not show where I am. I need a GPS. Alright. I haven't seen any players yet, thank God. Me and my friend Connor, you know him from um, the R uh, a lot of our series, actually. Me and him used to play this a lot, and we did some crazy stuff in this game. This is this, The Roblox is actually where I met Connor. But in this specific game, Apocalypse Rising, we used to trick people so badly. There used to be a boat. I don't know if it's still there, but there used to be a boat. And people were using this said boat as a base. Did I just miss? Oh, God! Jesus. Okay, so people used said boat as a base. And they came and raided our base. So, we're typing in chat and we're like, we're gonna have revenge. We will have our revenge. So, me and him were typing in chat, pretending to be stupid. We were like, we were like pretending to give them our location. I was like, hey, is that the boat right there? And he was like, yeah, I think it is. Meanwhile, we were nowhere near the boat. We were, we were actually on our way back to our base that they killed us in. So we were going there just to get it back. And we were nowhere near the boat. We weren't even going near the boat. We were not even looking for it. But we kept pretending, hey, is that the boat I see? Yeah. And then Connor was like, hey, I think people are walking over there. I think I see them walking. And I'm like, where? Let's shoot them. The people on the boat got so petrified. It was hilarious. They were, they were just scared that we were actually coming for them. And they were all freaked out. And that kept them distracted. That kept them from coming back to our base. You have lost connection to the game. I know you guys can't see that because of my Justice Scooby thing, but up here it says you've lost connection to the game. Even though I'm still walking around doing nothing, I just can't. Oh, there we go. Now I've lost connection. Alright, so that was Apocalypse Rising. It usually doesn't do that, I don't think. But, whatever. That's just like Daisy. It happens sometimes. So, we'll move on to the next game. Basically, I know I didn't get to show you too much of Apocalypse Rising, but it's basically like Daisy. So if you like Daisy, you'll probably like Apocalypse Rising. And that is by Gus Panak. So I have showed off the I have showed off the survival genre. What is next? We will find out. Welcome to Sword Fighting Tournament by the Gamer 101. So this is a game where people go at each other with swords and you get to watch, you get to even I believe you get to um nope, I didn't want to press that. Alright, teleport to the top. No, we teleport to the top. Alright. So I believe you can even gamble and vote on people to win at least you used to be able to I don't know if you can anymore but you used to be able to so this is a sword fighting tournament as I said and that's basically what it is you just sword fight and it's pretty fun um I was a big sword fighter back when I played oh see here you go guess the winner of the bonus round and you can choose a player and then put how many points you want I'm not going to bet on myself because I don't have any points <laughs> and because I haven't played for a long time so I probably suck now. But let's figure out. Okay. Yep, I suck now. Good to know. I think I won though. Yeah, I did win. Okay. First of all, I can't close that. Alright, there we go. My mouse seems to lock up when I play this game. This one specifically. So yeah, this, so this is the sword fighting genre. There are, this is one of the good games. There's also sword fights on the heights, which I'm actually going to probably go take a look at right now. Just because this one's a little bit slower moving. I just wanted to show you guys it. And show you guys it exists. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Sword Fights on the Heights 4 by former Roblox employee, 
John Shedletsky, a.k.a. Telemon. So, me and Telemon go back. We actually, I knew him, and he's just an awesome man. Uh, I was actually pretty sad when I heard he had quit, but I understand why. I understand why. Uh, he's actually dating one of the other employees, so I think that caused some tension. But she, she's awesome, too. Her name is Bright Eyes. So, I don't know if they're still dating or if they're married. Alright, so this is a sword fighting game where, whoa, you're on a very easy to fall off map and there's a bunch of specialty swords all around and you basically just go sword fight. It's pretty fun. I used to play this a lot. I don't know why that's, oh god. I don't know why that's glitching. I don't know why that's lagging. That, that was weird. Alright. So this thing around me right now is a force field. You don't want to kill people when that's on. That's just a scummy thing to do. Um, the health bars are so different now. Like I said, I haven't played this in a long time. It used to be so much better. I actually used to be very good at sword fighting. He had a better sword, as you saw. It's sparkling. That's actually one of my favorite swords. There's... Ooh, I like this sword, too. The Dark Heart's up here. Dark Heart is one of the best swords, in my opinion. Got it. Let's go. Nope. Come on. Die. Nope. Got him. Yes. Got him. Oh, crap. Got him. Yep. Nope. You're not going to weigh guests. Get back here with my money. Got her. All right. Now, let's use this to just disappear. So as I said, I used to play this a lot, so I know what all oh god power-ups do. Um, boof. Bam, watch this. Whoa! What? <laughs> what? Okay, well that was interesting. So, yep, this is Sword Fights on the Heights 4. There's also Sword Fights on the Heights, the original, which is, um, it's got a little bit less than this does. Matt Epa. Oh, I know him. Hold on, guys. Hey, Matt Epa. Long time no see. He was a friend of mine back back when I played. Alright. Oh, shoot. She's got a better sword, so. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Shouldn't have been worried. Don't know why I was. That was funny. Oh, he doesn't remember me. How rude. How rude. Sorry, I'm talking to him. Alright, so this sword's awesome. It kind of makes your body a ghost. And it also lets you... Used to let you jump high. Well, I guess, yeah, that is jumping high. Never mind. I just thought it used to make you jump higher. Whatever. Let's go. So it gives you a sort of no-grab type feeling. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick that up. Alright, so let's go kill some people. And then we'll head out to another game. We've been recording this game for four minutes now, so we're getting close to the end here. I just wanted to make sure... Oh, hey, he remembers me now. Whee! Nope, they jump into the air. Nope, stop it! 
Ah, shoot. I actually don't like that sword too much. It's just... It's, you know. Alright. Where did my chat go? My chat just disappeared. Yeah, I was wondering what that thing next to his name meant, and I saw it meant I followed him. Because I knew I was his friend, but I just like... They changed a lot. They, they added some new follow system. So now you're not friends, now you follow people, and now you have different friends. I don't... I don't understand. I don't even try to understand. Alright, so this has been Sword Fights on the Heights 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. But the episode's not over. <laughs> Felt like I was on an episode there. I didn't mean to. Alright. So, now we have covered survival. And we've covered sword fighting. What do we cover next? Let's find out. Welcome to Natural Disaster Survival. I know I said I covered the survival genre, but I really didn't. I covered zombie survival, which is quite different from this genre, which is the actual survival genre. Um, some games are built to survive, where you have to build like things to protect yourself. This game is just stay in a smart place and don't die survival. <laughs> So this game is made by Roblox administrator Stick Master Luke. He wasn't always an administrator, by the way. He actually used to be uh, a player, just like us. And he was a really, really good builder. I always loved his stuff. He's been a personal role model when I played this game. And yeah, I was. Jo oh God, I'm killing myself here. Jesus, come on, climb the ladder. Just a Scooby, climb the ladder. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so, I bought this little balloon with uh, the actual in-game currency, like out of this game but in Roblox. I bought this with Roblox currency and it lets me just kind of jump high and I like it. <laughs> I like it and it makes me fall, uh, you know, slower so I don't get hurt. What the heck is that? Fire. Fire! Oh god, the disaster's fire. Alright, well, this is easy to survive. I just kind of go this way <laughs> everyone on roof jump no that'll kill them well I mean unless they've got my balloon that'll kill them so this is the survival genre the real survival genre and it's pretty fun I really enjoy it sometimes um, Roblox also has a badge system where you can get you get rewarded. They're kind of like achievements, but they're called badges. And this game's got a quite a bit of them. A lot of survival ones do. So we he passed it. Everyone used to jump on the side there, and almost no disasters would kill them unless it was a flood. So everyone would always jump on the side there, and he patched it. He made it so you can't do that anymore. Alright, I didn't mean, I wasn't even trying to do that, I just kind of fell through. And of course I didn't count as a survival. <sighs> we'll play one more, oh god! I'm not paying attention. Alright, we'll play one more round of this and then we'll look at the next game. An apple a day saves the day. Red apples last forever. Click now. Just 80 Robux. No, it could happen to you. Insure blocks. Hurricane insure. Double disaster. That does not sound good. Top 10 survive. I was reading that. Oh, I hate this map. This map's hard because it's... Being on the ground could kill you easily if it's a flood or something. So being on top floor would be your best bet. Being on top floor could kill you easily. Uh, he's right. This tower doesn't stand a chance. We are dead. That's basically it. We're dead. Rest in peace, everybody. Okay, looks like a blizzard. I think I probably shouldn't be standing outside. Oh, it's a sandstorm, he said. Go to a corner? Okay. That person said go to a corner, Lily. I'm in a corner. I'm not Lily, but I'm in a corner. I don't like that. Oh, God. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I'm dead. We're all dead. 
This is depressing. We're all dead. Um, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's go up here. Excuse me. Oh God! Nope. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Who? I'm okay. Yes. Yes. I'm a survivor. What are all these lines doing? Everything's going away. We can do this. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope, my fellow friends. Don't lose it, hopeth. I'm just jumping around because I don't know. Maybe it'll help. I don't know what the actual second disaster is. I just know. Sandstorm. I still think it looks like a blizzard. But they say it's a sandstorm. Oh god, wow. That's hard to see. Two sandstorms? Oh, is that what it is? It's double disaster, both sandstorms? That would be stupid. But whatever, I guess I survived. Oh god. What is this? Different disaster. We were wrong. Oh, no, I survived. It was two sandstorms. Alright, cool. I got 12 points. Alright, so that's been Natural Disaster Survivor by Roblox Administrator Stickmaster. Now we've covered the survival genre. What's next? Hello, viewers. I am here today with Roblox. Again. It's not over yet, the video. I keep thinking I'm recording different videos. Alright, so this is the Nintendo Obstacle Course made by yours truly, just a Scooby. This has been visited 10,000 times. This is one of those achievements I told you about. Once you get here, you get this achievement. Um, so it spawned me at the winner's circle because I made the game and it's I made it to spawn me there. So we're just going to fly over to the um, to the actual start of the game here. Yeah, so if you, if you know me and you're my friend, you can go through this door and you can go straight to the victory side. But, uh, or if you buy my shirt, which is which used to be expensive, now now I don't think it's on sale anymore. Look at I have the guy from Star Wars Rebels. All right, so this is the obstacle course genre. This one specifically was made by me, and uh, so those little blocks there are lava. This is Mario's flames. I actually didn't hit the spawn point, which I should have. There you go. All right, so now we're on Mario's flames, and why does that have a little thing next to it? Is it saying that I made the place, or is it saying that I won, or is it just saying that that's me? Ah, oh, wow. Okay, so, <laughs> it's actually not that hard. I haven't played in a long time, but... Also, I have admin commands because I made the place, so I can be like... Um... FF... Justice... Gooby. Ah, oh, shoot. FF... FF... Justice... Gooby. Yay, see? So I, what I just did was I put a force field on myself. Because I made the place, I have those commands. I can kill people, I can do all kinds of stuff just by typing. Anyway, let's continue. Let's beat this. Since I wanted to show you an obstacle course, I figured why not show you mine. That's a Lego type art of Mario. Okay, so this is Mario's Flames, as I said before. This is Link's Training. Not to be confused with Link's Crossbow Training. <laughs> the heck did I just pick up? I don't even know. These things you see at the bottom of my game, those are actually gear. They're things you can buy from the Roblox store, and some of them can be brought into games, depending on the game. So this is Kirby Jump. Pretty easy. The hard part is Pikachu's weird lightning and uh oh, say Pikachu. So obstacle courses are basically equivalent to Minecraft's parkour. They're really fun. I always love them. Alright, so this is Pikachu's weird lightning. I'm making this look way too easy, but don't forget I made this, so <laughs> I know it by heart now. And I used to play it with friends and stuff, so I know it. Oh no. Speaking of knowing it, I just made a fool out of myself. <laughs> Let's try that again. So 
So this game's been visited 10,000 times, which actually isn't a lot compared to some games that have been visited millions and millions of times, but I was never actually that big, I was never actually that famous for my games, I was more known for my role in clans, groups, whatever you want to call them, militaries, whatever. I was more known for my role in those and my, and my um, posts on the forums. But I did dabble around in games, like I said, like this one, and this one got decent, 10,000. And my other one got a lot more. My other one's actually the one that made me pretty have a lot of money when I first started playing. When I made it, I got a lot of money for it. Not real money, of course, the in-game money. You get money every time someone visits your place, unless it's you. You used to be able to jump that. Oh, you can. Alright, this is the hard part. Uh-oh, say Pikachu. Because you can't jump in these blocks, but the way they're positioned makes them very hard to jump over. What? Okay. <laughs> so I jumped on the one block and it didn't kill me, but that one did. Alright, so yeah. Let's try that again. That's a Pokemon trainer. It's red. God, I hate this part. Come on! <laughs> God dang it. There we go. Watch out for Pikachu. He does kill you. Oh, hi Donkey Kong. Alright, on here it says. Alright, so now I'm on break break time, which you just kind of look at Pikachu and a Pokemon trainer thanking you, and then you can pretend you're playing a game and listen to music even though you can't. Or if you're like me, you just do the moonwalk. Yeah, oh god, right off the cliff. No, no, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. I didn't know it went that far. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all this gear I have, guys. Seriously. All this stuff. This is because I played for such a long time. <laughs> this is my favorite, I think. This is one of my favorites right here. And not that, this. Makes a clone of you, and it explodes. So it's not staying here. Alright, Luigi's turn. Sometimes that helps, gives you more idea of where you're jumping. Bowser! <laughs> Alright, so the hard part here is that one of these is fake. I mean, not one of them. Most of these are fake. One of them's real. I think it's this one? Nope. I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time. I used to know it down. I, I used to know it, because I used to have to help people through it. Because, you know, instead of just trying everything. So, one tip I suggest when trying to do this one. Take your hat, drop it. If it goes through, it's obviously not the one. Take hat, drop it. Goes through, obviously not the one. So this is indeed the one. And then this one, I believe it's that one. Yeah. And there's a stupid part. Look at me, call my own game stupid because I can't beat it. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, well anyway, you guys get the point. This is my Nintendo Obstacle Course. Obstacle Courses are basically parkour. Very fun. I love them. I've always loved them. So, as you can see, that's the whole thing right there. And this is the whole Obstacle Course. Pretty small, which is why I actually picked to do this one. It's pretty small compared to a lot of them. I would have been other ones for hours trying to figure it out, trying to beat it. So, whatnot. Alright, what's next? What's next on our list of games? Welcome to Roblox Battle Tycoon, made by a player named Zednov. So this is the tycoon genre. I've never played this one, but it's hard to mess up a tycoon. So touch to claim this fort. Alright, so this is my fort now. Now I need to get money so I can build walls and all that kind of stuff. That's how tycoons work. So, I just bought this machine. This machine is going to start making me money. Then I got to upgrade that machine so 
I can make more money. This is my bank here. I just, I believe I just walk into it to pick it up or something. And then how much money do I have right now? I have none. So as you can see, this is going. And because tycoons can take a long time, maybe not if one thing is 250. Jeez. Oh, it's more than one thing, I guess. One thing is 20, 125. Alright, so because they can take a long time, I'm obviously not going to complete this one. But the thing about this one is it's a battle tycoon, meaning I can take out my sword and go people, go go people, go pill pe go go pill people, go kill people while while I wait for my money to be made so I can upgrade my defenses, and then those people can come retaliate, come attack me, and all that kind of stuff. So like this person, this is Eric Game two 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 three three's fortress. So let's go attack it. Hello, can I come in? Hello, knock knock. He's not home. So this is the tycoon genre. Also pretty fun. If you're into this kind of stuff, I am. I liked it. I always used to like tycoons on here. Um, yeah. So the thing about Roblox is there's anything, anything you want to do. Want to play a copy of Gary's Mod Games? They got those. Want to play a copy of Five Nights at Freddy's? They've got that. But they're not all just copies. There's plenty of original content that is just beyond amazing. There's a lot of role-playing games for those of you who like role-play. There's um, first-person shooters for those of you who like first-person shooters. There's just so much. And that is why I personally think it would be a great series because there's no lack of content I will never run out of something new to show you that's just how big the game is let me in let me in yes I'm in <laughs> and I died <laughs> but basically that's what happens when you don't build up your walls all the way so alright so now I should have some money now I can build this wall here that was a very boring wall I don't know how much money I actually have. I have two twenty. Oh crap! What did I just buy? <laughs> I just bought something. Buy that. There we go. Now I got two droppers, so that's gonna make me money faster. And now I have three eighty dollars, three hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, see, and that thing's making them worth more, it seems. So, yep, so you just keep making money and having fun. And you can buy weapons that looks like a bottle rocket. I'm assuming it's a weapon of some sort. Let's go in. How much am I worth? So that's the tycoon genre. Hope you enjoyed that one. You guys can make sure to check these games out as well. They're all available for you to play. Just like they were available for me to play. So I believe there's one more thing I want to show you guys before I exit out and let you guys decide if we continue this. So, get ready. Hello, and welcome to Kingdom Life 3 by the LOL Guy 301. So this game is a role-playing game where you roleplay if you lived in the old times with castles and things like that what does that symbol mean? I don't know so there are thousands and thousands and thousands of different genres on Roblox I can't show you them all I tried to pick some of the biggest and some of the most fun to show you do you like Naruto? there are Naruto games do you like Bleach? there are Bleach games do you like Star Wars? There are Star Wars games. There are Star Wars groups too. There's everything. And that is why I think this series would be a great series. It's up to you guys. Do you want a Roblox series? I will be a... I will be a... Cat people royalty. I am royal. 
I don't want to buy it. I am cat people royalty. Respect me or die. This game is very dark. Let's go into my new house. I don't know if this is actually going to make people not, but whatever. Why do I have ugly hair? And why does... Why am I... What the heck? Okay, this cat looks more like a rat. <laughs> anyway, so this is a roleplay game. You just chat with other people. You take a role, you pick it, you choose it, and you play as it. Roleplay. <laughs> Reminds me very much of games like Dark RP and... Oh, I have a torch! Duh. Now respect my royalty. What else? Oh, you are shooting. No, don't shoot me. I am royalty. No shooting the royalty. No shooting the royalty. I must leave now. I don't trust you. No custom character. No, I don't want to do that. No. I am now a black hat. White cat, brown cat, red cat, blue cat, gray cat, I'll be a cat cat, white cat, alright, uh, customize weaponry, well, I can choose weaponry, I mean I can customize weaponry, I don't have <laughs> weaponry, roleplay actions, alright, so see I can lean, I can lean, standing, I can kneel, I don't know how to get out of this position, Fast travel. Oh, you can. Fit. Okay, that's cool. That's new. That's cool. I am at the Eastern Orc Camp. So this is roleplay, and this, my friends, is Roblox. Do you want a Roblox series? It is up to you. Watch the video, like the video if you want one, and comment if you want. I will base it on the amount of views it gets. Because views generally means that people like it, are interested in it. If it gets probably over 10 views, probably over, just over the, over what my videos from this week have gotten. If it gets more than that, then I will make a second episode. And if that also gets high views, I will make a third, and so on. That's the way I do it. LCPDFR has gotten a lot, but I have a lot of trouble recording that just because it's extremely glitchy, extremely broken, and extremely hard to record. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoy. Please tell me, do you think this is a good series? Will you watch it? Will you enjoy it? Roblox is the one game I believe can truly have... You can do anything as a role model. As a role model. As a slogan. Because you can do anything. And that is why, my friends, I think it would be a great series. Thanks for watching.